Hello Rogers family. Welcome to the next installment of School Matters. It is our hope that these broadcasts will help keep you informed of important events and initiatives within the district. A transcript of the presentation can be found on our website. Thank you for tuning in for these updates and contact us if you have any questions. We have experienced an extremely smooth opening of school this year. I visited the majority of schools on the first two days of schools and teachers were already actively engaged in the learning process. Several commented that the transition from summer break to school was seamless and it was like students had never left. This success just didn't happen. It was the direct result of countless hours of planning and preparation for the start of the school year. We sincerely appreciate all who helped make this opening such a huge success. Although the instructional part of the day was smooth, we could not declare that traffic enjoyed the same degree of success. We fully understand the frustration of parents and community members as they had to struggle through the congestion created by school traffic. We've made a number of adjustments to improve these issues, but we're still experiencing some problems. A majority of these challenges are connected with the increased number of parents who are driving students to school during the first couple weeks. Many of these parents will not transport students after the first few days of school, and this will help tremendously. In addition, community members will adjust their routes to avoid the traffic congestion, which will also help. We will continue to monitor the situation and make the necessary adjustments. In the meantime, we appreciate the patience of our community as we work through these issues, and we sincerely apologize for any problems we have created. When our new elementary school is completed in 2024, the school board must decide to either close Garfield Elementary or leave it open. The school board is scheduled to make this decision in November to help facilitate planning. Before making this decision, the school board wants to solicit feedback from the community, which will enable the board to make an informed decision. The board has directed the superintendent to create a steering committee and conduct a series of community forums within the Garfield community. It is the desire of the school board and myself that all stakeholders have an opportunity to voice their thoughts, concerns, and ideals before making any major decision. It is also our intent to be open and transparent throughout this entire process. It is clear that we're going to be unable to appease everyone with every decision we make, but we will be honest and transparent with all decisions. Our first community forum will be held on September the 13th at 6 o'clock p.m at Garfield Elementary School. All parents and community members are welcome to attend. Just a quick reminder that we will conduct our first general community forum on August the 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the district administration office. The purpose of this meeting is designed to allow all stakeholders the opportunity to provide thoughts, ideals, and suggestions on how we can improve our school district. We will use this information to help develop our strategic plan. At times, community members and parents want to address the school board during our meetings. It is the practice of the board that individual board members will listen, but will not respond to questions during the meeting. It is often difficult for board members to respond as individuals because they will not be speaking on behalf of the board. This is a common practice for virtually all school boards. However, it is our intent to be responsive and maintain an open line of communication. The superintendent will conduct informal meetings at the district administration office at 4 o'clock p.m. on the third Tuesday of each month. This is the date of our school board meeting, which will start at 5 o'clock. These meetings will be informal, and I will attempt to answer any questions or concerns that parents may have at this time. Individuals who can't attend these meetings always have the opportunity to reach out to us through email or phone, and we will provide the information needed. Again, we want to be open, honest, and responsive to our community. Our enrollment numbers will fluctuate over the next couple of weeks. It will begin to stabilize after Labor Day, and we will have a more accurate count. As of August the 16th, our enrollment was 15,790 students. Last year at the same time, we had about 15,666 students. At this point, our enrollment has grown 124 students since last year. 
Due to a strong interest from the school board, I plan to investigate alternative models to place additional school resource officers within the schools. We have enjoyed an extremely positive working relationship with the Rogers Police Department and they currently fund six school resource officers. We are extremely appreciative of Chief Best and Mayor Hines for this support. Unfortunately, they are experiencing issues recruiting officers and have multiple vacancies. We will investigate other models to determine if there's a viable option which will allow us to place either additional school resource officers or school security officers within our buildings. Currently we have a number of detached gyms which are metal structures with minimal insulation. Most of these gyms are associated with our elementary schools. We have 17 gyms which are not air conditioned and 13 gyms which are. When these structures were first completed, many of our staff and students were not as dependent on air conditioning as we are now. In addition, it seems that the summer heat is continuing through the early fall months and we begin to experience high temperatures early in the spring. We're looking at potential options to air condition these buildings, but it will be a challenge. These structures are not very conducive for air conditioning, but we are investigating options. We will not be able to do much this year, but it is our hope to develop some type of plan and begin implementing a solution next year. We will be unable to address all gyms immediately, but it is our hope to develop a capital improvement plan to begin to schedule these improvements. Last year, the price for all athletic events were the same for students and adults. We fully understand that the current economic conditions have been a struggle for parents. This year, all Roger Public School students may enter any home game for $1. The students will purchase these tickets at school and must wear Spirit t-shirts. Students may also purchase a $20 season pass, which will allow them to access to all home games. It is our hope that this will allow more students to become involved in extracurricular events. As always, we will respond to any questions or concerns that parents may have in future broadcasts. We ask parents to contact Ashley, our communication director, at info at rpsar.net or 631-3525 if you have questions and want a response. I sincerely appreciate your attention to this broadcast and remember, school matters.